Hi, this is Dr. Deep Sinandan Reddy. I am a senior orthopedic surgeon at Yashoda High Tech City. I am a shoulder and hand surgeon. I deal with mostly injuries involving the upper limb. This video would be for people who are looking for tips to prevent injuries in your limbs during uh, sporting activities. One of the most important part of a body mechanics is using the muscles and the joints in the optimal way so that we don't get injuries to these uh, joints and muscles. One of the best way of doing this is to maintain good tone in the muscles. Now human body is made in different forms in different people. Because, for example, you can have a loose joint, you can have a tight joint. So people who have loose joints do tend to have more injuries for the knees and the shoulders especially because the ligaments are laxer so they tend to get more injuries to these ligaments and they get tears of the ACL which is the anterior cruciate ligament and they get dislocations of the shoulder. In sports people who have lax joints it is very important for them to improve the muscles which are surrounding these joints because the primary stabilizers means the primary mechanism of holding the joint in place is looser so we need to get the secondary mechanism which is the muscles to get be in good shape. So these patients are advised to have a regular strengthening program for the shoulder and the knee so that you get better stability in the knee and the shoulder and prevent injuries. Similarly, this will work even for the wrist and the ankle joint as well. Many a times we do sports and we have ankle injuries where we have sprains but we don't treat them properly and these ligament injuries if they are not treated them well will go on to repeated injuries and have instability of the elbow and long term can cause arthritis in this joint. So one important aspect of body mechanics is that when we run a lot when we do a lot of physical activity these muscles get tighter so we call them the myofascial planes and if these myofascial planes become tight then movement in the joints next to that muscles are not so free and that causes damage to the muscles so you hear about hamstring injuries calf injuries groin injuries in sportsmen and why do they happen because they don't stretch those muscles out well and they get very stiff muscles after an activity so if you don't stretch your muscles the muscle tendon unit is not pliable so when you suddenly run or do a sudden burst in activity you get a tear in the tendon or the muscle so it's very important to include stretching routines into your strengthening routines as well so we go to gym we exercise we strengthen and we do not stretch them adequately and yoga is a very good way of doing this but getting a trainer to stretch your muscles out on frequent basis is very important one other aspect nutritional aspect for uh, sports people is having enough hydration hydration is the key for keeping the muscles soft and supple so good hydration with two to three liters minimum for per person is required to prevent muscle injuries as well protein intake is a lot emphasized in sporting fields but you should be very careful about using protein supplements because there is a lot of sodium and other additives in these powders and that can cause kidney damage any excessive protein can also cause problems with high uric acid and sometimes gout so be careful when you're using any protein supplements please consult your doctor before you take it if you take more than 1.2 grams per kilogram of your body weight of protein is not used in your body so there is a waste of time taking more protein and in just taking protein will not increase muscle strength so training with smaller weights more repetitions will increase the tone and will maintain good muscle tone and prevent major injuries to the muscles and one big thing we need to remember is not to take any steroids to build your muscles because tears of the tendons and muscles are very common in people who have had steroids so please avoid steroids please avoid high dose of protein supplements and hydrate yourself well to prevent injuries thank you